Welcome to the Metal Bob Live Podcast. I am your host, Metal Bob. Today's show is brought to you by Legend Picks, artist Jeremiah Kallick, and also the Texas Vinyl Coalition. You can find links to our sponsors and more at the Metal Bob Live website. There you can also find links to the latest Metal Bob gear, including shirts, hoodies, and more. On today's show, I had the honor of speaking with ex-guitarist and songwriter Tony Reeves of the band Three Years Hollow. We discuss what he's up to, and we also discuss his time in the band. So sit back, have a listen, and enjoy the show. Thank you. Mr. Tony Reeves, what's going on, brother? What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? I got you on the show, man. What's what's the good word? You got me what? I said I got you live yep. on the show. How you doing? Man, you, I didn't even do my hair. Oh, well, you don't have to. Ain't no one going to see your shit anyway. You ain't even got no damn hair. What's up, man? <laughs> How you been, man? Oh, I've been all right. So, uh, good, actually. That's good, man. So, how how's the... Uh, you got the new project... Uh, the acoustic project. How's the solo record coming? Everything. I got a bunch of projects going on, man. Um, yeah, but the the one thing I'm doing now is uh, with Carl. You're, you're talking about, right? Yep. 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 Um, we just got all the stuff set up. Like we're gonna put an EP out probably. I don't know, spring, early summer, and we kind of have to because we said that on TV we we're gonna say we're gonna do it. So <laughs> nice. So I take it, it's all original stuff. Oh yeah, sweet. Yeah. No, nice. uh, well, I mean we we do covers at like we just did last like last night at the uh, we did two we did one in the morning. You remember back in the day like we do them like tent shows. Oh yeah, you know the St. Patty's and that like that. Yeah, we did the morning one and the night one. And it was pretty cool. Cool, cool man. So uh, you know I I I need to ask this question too. Obviously, there's a lot of people that don't know that you're not in three years hollow anymore, and you want to kind of mm-hmm. reflect on that whole thing for me. Well, let's see. Is it an R-rated show, or how deep do I want to get into this? Brother, you get as deep as you <laughs> um, want, man. I... <laughs> um, you know, I'm, no, I, I, I'll say that I, I, I'm not in it, and uh, I, it's not by it wasn't my choice, obviously. Um, but, you know, that, oh boy, how, how deep do I want to cut this onion? Because <laughs> this stinks in the middle. <laughs> I, I, I feel you, brother, man. You but know, actually. It was a good thing, man. You know, it was a good thing because it, it, it opened me up to doing all kinds of other stuff. You know, I ended up, how I met Carl and I did, a, I was a, a, a judge for like the local quantity voice thing they had. So I met a bunch of singers and then I also did a mass singer contest, which um, I, I, I did pretty good. And, uh, you know, I'm not a singer, well, but you, uh, you I met were, a lot of singers. You were in a mass singer okay. contest? Yeah. No shit. I would have loved to have been there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You know, um, I thought I should have won. I think I won on the judges' scorecards. Who, but it who, was who, fun. who won? Drew Carey or who? Who won that shit? No, there was nobody. Nobody <laughs> named. You know, what I mean, like uh, my name was Daryl Devil. I had the sheet on. I had this big devil. Like I made it out of cardboard, so it looked like a big devil head. That's cool. You know, so it's cool because I couldn't see anybody, so I didn't have any problems singing. That sounds like it was fun, though. It was. That's it was awesome. really fun. I, like I warmed, I warmed up and everything all week. Like I, I took it serious because I wanted to win. That's awesome. Well, I've known you for a long time. You take everything serious, man. When it comes to music, though, so yeah, you know, yeah, nothing. Kind of what I got. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, a lot of it's people. The only thing that hasn't left me. What's that? It's the only thing that hasn't left me. Right, Let right. me down. Yeah. No I'm kidding. No. <laughs> No, man, but, uh, so, you know, uh, what was I going to say? So, yeah, you, you know, a lot of people don't know you're, you're a very multi-talented person, man. You play bass, you can play guitar, you're a drummer. You can sing some. I don't care what you say. You can sing a little bit. No, I actually uh, sang last night. These people were heckling us. You know, they always go free bird. Oh, and Jesus. They, somebody said see there. So I played that see the song and they just. They hounded me, so I, I said, "Fuck it, I'm, I did it, <laughs> and I did it pretty good, I think." Oh yeah, well, I remember playing in band, band with you. you. Used to do it so easy; that was always fun. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, 
that was fun. I liked all the old DNR songs. I've been really, I think what lately I've been into is piano. Like, I moved to this house in Moline and it had a piano in it, and I kind of fixed it and made a tuner for it because evidently they're special, but, you know, I found a way. <laughs> and uh, I tuned it up and fixed some of the dings in it and started teaching myself, and uh, I think I've done pretty good. Like, uh, it's helped me, like, grasp the whole songwriting thing a little bit more, right. you know? Yeah, piano's fun, okay. man. I just recently bought a brand new uh, Yamaha 660DX, man. Big digital, 88 key uh, piano. Yeah, for... see, that's and all I have right now is I got a. Um, it's not 88, but and I like the weighted ones. That's what I was doing actually when you uh, when you call when you call. Oh yeah, nice man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have you down here in Missouri, man. You can you can come show me how to play this thing. Man, you know what? If you got any shows down, you just book Carl and I down there. Well, it's not that far. We'll yeah. come down and play a little club. We can all just, it, it'd be great. It'd be a good time. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of cool places down here, man. There's a lot of breweries, a lot of wineries, man. There's little clubs down here. They have live music all the time. You know, it's college town, so and there's always something going right on. on. Right on. I don't know if I want to be hanging out with you in college town, man. You'd probably get me in trouble. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> oh, I'm just fucking kidding, man. Man, yeah. my halo. You can see my halo shine through, oh, through yeah. the phone, can't you? <laughs> halo my ass. There might be a couple horns. There might be a couple horns in that damn dome of yours. Wait, you fuck say me. horns or horse? <laughs> I said horns, man. <laughs> yeah, probably a couple horns, too, huh? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> nah, man, fuck. Yeah, yeah, man. dude. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. You know, it, 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 yeah, we don't need each other around to get in trouble. We do a good enough job on that on our fucking own. Right. I'll tell you that. <laughs> but no, nah, man. No, nah, it's just good to hear you're doing good, man. And, you know, I appreciate you doing this this uh, this interview again today, man. Last time, I don't know what happened. I had some issues with the board, but we got all no, that I think it's cool, man. You got, a, you got a lot of named people, a lot of your favorite guys I've seen on there. Yeah, man. We, can got, talk we got some good shows coming up, man. Uh, I, I actually just had a con uh, a short conversation online with uh, Glenn Burtnick. I don't know if you're familiar with him. He was in Sticks, and he's done a bunch of oh, stuff. Yeah, yeah. He's going he's gonna to be on the show here hopefully in the next month or two. So cool. I got some good guys coming up, man. And I just had Chris Simmons on. Just before I talk to you uh, from the Paul Thorne band. One of the L.A. Young guys. Uh, yeah. What's his name? Stacy um, Blades is going to be on the show. Blades, yeah. Blades, yeah. I almost called him Benji Blades. <laughs> yeah, Benji Blades. Yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> Stacy Blades next Friday night, man. He's going to be on. And, uh, yeah, it's been a good time, man. I've had a couple guys from Babylon AD on. And, you know, we both. Yep, we that both. Was the <laughs> that's a fucking great band, man. I, you know, I know you love that <laughs> shit. Bang, go to bells, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I always like that stuff. Oh, I remember when you called me, man, when we were doing the cover thing, going, Bubba, we got to play Bango to Bells, motherfucker. I'm like, you got it. We never did, but I wish we would have. I know. <laughs> it was a great fucking song. But, yeah, so other than that, man, I mean, do you have any, like, release date or or maybe something? Uh, for my thing, it's probably, I don't know, it's gone through so many transitions. Like, I thought about, I don't, you know, it's just going to get... A variety of singers just to sing on the album and then I, I think I'm going to do it myself I've got another guy I've got something actually in the works too man that's kind of new um, I won't spill too much of it but it's it's a good thing and uh, it'll be a four piece and it, it's uh, I think it's going to be high energy and different and good and there's good players in it and uh, I found this young kid who can, who can sing and he's uh, I mean he's just eager to do it he's, doesn't have any fears. He stands right out there and does it. We've done a couple of open mics, and uh, he's just all about doing it. And uh, so I'm going to put that together, plus some uh, a couple other people I'm writing songs for, plus I'm teaching. I'll teach. I teach all kinds of everything. I teach piano and, and uh, guitar and bass and drums and singing and even songwriting. Like um, for people, like they just get a hold of me and hit me up. And I mean. For what they get, I think it's pretty cool. I only charge them like forty bucks, forty minutes, or fifty bucks for an hour. That's you great, know? man. I, mean, I, I like to teach them. I'm just going to teach them guitar, you know. Like, I can only teach them the music, you know, like to, you know, craft songs and, and little things that I wish that I would have learned. You know, so I taught myself everything pretty much. Right, know? right. 
Well, I know when, it, when I first met you, man, way back when, we were fucking, I don't even know if we were 20 years old then, but shit, you were just a drummer when I first met you. That's, yeah, because we couldn't find a drummer anywhere. <laughs> you know, drummers were a motherfucker to find back in the day, man. You know, you could, yeah, you, guitar players are a dime a dozen, we get that. You know, and then oh, you, yeah. and then you got well then bass players bass players were kinda of hard to find too, so a guy that played guitar, he just jumped in and played the bass. You know, it's it's hard to find anybody who actually is dedicated enough to to you know, play their parts and not you know, I'm I'm big on you know me, I'm a stickler. I like to I like to play you know, if you're doing original music I like to to, you know, perform good and not make mistakes and Right. You know. Just from that school, so I just love. I love when a, a band is so tight, and it's like, man, them guys didn't some notes, you know. Exactly. Well, you and you, you know, it's hard to find. People. And co- you know, come from me, dude, you were always one of those guys, man. I always enjoyed playing with you, man. You always bring your A game. Oh, thanks. And you know, you. and and when you did the three years hollow thing, man, you guys, you know, I, I no matter what happened between you guys, you guys did some great things, man. Yeah, you know, it's the time of my life, man. Yeah, you, you did, man, and I was proud of you, man. I was like, yeah, somebody from the camp finally, you know, put their foot out there and did something, man, and you, you, you left that imprint in the industry, man, and I appreciate you. Yeah. Appreciate that. You know man. what? Thanks, man, because it, it was scary. Like, it literally, a lot of people don't know. Like, I was going to put out a, a DVD thing, too, with a solo thing, which would probably be, like, Fall is what I'm shooting for. Um, But, like, uh, you know, like... People, when we first came out, like, people hated us. You know, they liked us, and they hated us, and then they wanted to hate on us. And then um, eventually it was just kind of like one of the things we learned is everybody to support each other, you know. We didn't hate on anybody. And, um, you know, I just, uh, what it took to get us there, I mean, it was like, you know, the album came out, or the tracks came out in 2012. Like, we started in 2001, I think, or two, you know. So... Like I was, I had a day job. I worked for almost ten years. I just walked in one day and I said, hey, "I'm out of here. I'm going for it," you know. And uh, so it was scary, you know, because I, I just gotten divorced, and uh, you know, I didn't know what to really, <laughs> you know, I had all that stuff was going on. Um, so I was writing a lot too, and then, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, we just said screw it, and then we went out. I think for like a year and a half, you know, in, in an RV and. It was cold, <laughs> it was real cold. Yeah, and uh, you know we, we got it out and did it, and then we finally got signed, and um, you know stayed out for another three or four years or whatever, and got to play some of the biggest shows ever, man. It was like the best time I was in the Bahamas for free, like <laughs> for playing guitar. You know, I can't beat that. No, nah, man, that that's what it's all about, right there, brother. Yeah, 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 man. You know, shit. You know, like I said, I mean, you go, we go way back, man, and it's like. You know, when you finally got your shot, dude, and and I know you, you, we had been in and out of bands together for a lot of years, and you were and you were always trying to get this hollow thing going, and and it finally caught traction, man. And once it did, it it took off, it took off pretty good there. For yeah, a, it, for a it seems like it, I mean the whole thing, the chemical ride thing is what really did it. Like, uh, like when we, were, we got that, that was the first time anybody had chopped up one of my songs. You know what I mean? Like the producer, and. uh so when they sent the just the rough back, it was like wow, like we just listening to it going, this is, this is good. Like you know, not to our horn, but you just know when when when, when one hits. And, right. um, and then the video, like you know, YouTube and then taking off the song. Really, that song was I sold every song that we have on two albums combined. Like, um, you know, it was just a thing that pushed us over. And the, the sad thing is, is that it never got released as a single. Hmm. And I thought that was one of the crappy things, and not whatever you want to call it, that the label, you know, and all of us too. Like I, I wish I would have voiced my opinion and just really, you know, put like everything into it. Because that would have been the song, you know, like right to do it. But uh, you know, things happen for a reason. You're right, man. And you know, you can't ever dwell on the past, man. You can only look to the future. And it sounds to me like you know you got you got some big things coming your way, brother. I do, man. It opens so many doors, you know, and the. the you know, whatever side of it is, like they all kind of just were like said I was absent, you know, and that I was, you know, now they said I'll tell you what they they I got it all. <laughs> they said I nobody considers me a good player anymore, and uh, I thought, well, I mean, that's your guys' opinion, <laughs> you know. So uh, yeah, I just made it like I was absent, and I was, I mean, I was there. I went in the studio for four weeks and I realized I'll finish the album. I wrote 
songs. I sat down, I did the drums, guitar, the bit, everything. Right. All you gotta do is just push record, and it still wasn't, you know, enough for them. You know, I think a lot of it was personal, you know, vendettas or whatever you want to call it. And, you know. Well, you know, that, you know, in my that's I'm sorry to hear that, man. But in my opinion, that's their loss, not yours, bro. I mean. I, 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 I share that opinion with you. <laughs> I, I've known you for a long time, man, you know, and, and I don't, you know me, I'm, I'm kind of, I don't give a fuck what anybody else thinks. I think Tony Reeves, right. <laughs> is, I think Tony's a great guy and I think Tony's a very, very, very established musician and you deserve great Thanks, things, man. brother. So. Thanks, man. I'm working on it. <laughs> oh, fuck. You got this, man. I'm just happy that, you know, that, that have so many things going on. Like me and Carl was, you know, by pure chance. And, uh, I mean, we just him and I, he's like probably one of my best friends, you know, like aside from music. Um, he's just a, you know, unique guy. And I just, uh, we just clicked. You know, right. Started, you know, you know, and started I, playing. I don't know Carl on a personal level like you do because you're playing with him. But I mean, we've crossed paths. We've talked, man. Carl's fucking guy's great. He's a great singer. He's he's a great entertainer, oh, yeah. man. The guy, the guy's got his shit together, man. He's, he's really, really good. At what he does. Yeah, I've, I've just, as long as I've, I've only known him for maybe well, almost a year, I've never, never been in a bad mood around him. He's always a, he's just a good guy to be around in general. You know? Absolutely, man. He's just he's just got that thing about him, man. He's just he's Carl, man. <laughs> he's right. He's a good he's <laughs> sure. a he's a good guy, man. Yeah. You know, if if Carl's pissed, somebody somebody did something wrong. <laughs> yeah. You know he's you know, he's not you know like that he's a, he's a pretty uh even tempered guy but like you know when he's serious like with some things it's just him and I are kind of similar in that we can't stand stupidity you know what I mean right and someone's just well what's this round one going a square hole like no <laughs> well I think you can well, no <laughs> you know like oh but, you know. shit god damn it that's fucking funny it's weird is playing acoustic I haven't played acoustic guitar I haven't even touched an electric guitar well I have recently but for a while I didn't touch an electric guitar it's really cool to get back on the electric guitar after playing acoustic. Well, yeah, the, f- time. the fucking strings probably felt like butter. Oh, yeah, man. It was like, it was crazy, you know. And uh, then I got my, uh, I got a friend of mine, like a computer genius guy. He got all my programs for me that I needed, like, you know, editing and all that, you know, drums and that's so I can, you know, record. And I'm, I'm actually moving out of where I'm at here in a couple of weeks. I go to a place in Rock Island and I'm going to, Kind of set up my home base and, and uh, start putting out like doing all the work that you know I got to do <laughs> for all these songs. That right. they got a couple other people that that you know are, are going to get involved and sing on it. And I'm just going to do like Slash did, you know, and just surround myself with really good musicians, you know, and make something good. Absolutely, man. If if it comes I'm out, doing of... a lot of the cool thing is I do a lot of open mic nights with the uh, you know the Three Years How Enemies side, you know, the other <laughs> the just a group of other people. It's like you know. They're like the the horde, you know, and the, I like I like they're like the cobras and you know yeah you know, like Daniel I, I like the cobras I like the they're cool dudes and the good musicians and um I actually like played out piano like the first time I played out I jammed with them and um they were just like yes yeah, it's one four five whatever and just go I'm, all right so you know they give me a little solo it was really cool that's cool man that's cool brother. Yeah, man. So yeah, I'll 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 actually be home. I'll be uh I'll be back in the cities sometime in the middle of next month, man. I'll have to hit you up. Maybe we can have a beer or something. Yeah, let's jam something. We'll go play somewhere. Yeah, that'd we'll be hit an open mic. Yeah, that'd be fun, that'd man. Be awesome. I'll get you guys down. You and Carl down here, man. Try to find you a place to play, man, and uh, do it. If you if they they they'll pay it. You know, we're not super expensive. You know, but uh, I mean, it'd be worth it even just to come on vacation, hang out, and play and you know it'd be fun yeah it would be fun man it'd be it'd be fun to jam with you one more time too brother yeah we'll do some whistling wind hell yeah man seas. that's right I look back on old memories. That, yeah. see you still remember that shit oh yeah I remember that song. that's right that's a great song man I, i'm glad that that's one really good song i wrote that song man a long time ago man it means a lot to me brother that's your mom Appreciate yeah. I appreciate that man. I lost them all the words. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Shit, I remember that. I remember the the fourth, the reel to reel recording in Aspen's. Yeah, house. yeah, that was the original recording on the reel to reel, man. Wait, that's yeah. man. Nate, have you talked to him in a long time, man, or what? 
No, man. Last I heard, like, there's, they had some family problems. His brothers passed away and oh, problems. Oh shit, man. Yeah. So I think he's doing all right. I think he's a school teacher, or gym yeah. teacher, or something like that. I'll tell you, man. That guy was a hell of a musician too, man. Nate was. He was. He knew yeah. his. He, he knew he his good shit. At everything. I know he was more of the upright bass player, man, but he was a pretty good guitar player, too, man. He was just... Yeah, blues he, player. Yeah, he was. He just... I, he, I did, a, did a gig with him a couple of times. I like, yeah. show together. Just yeah. Like, uh, just like a... I don't know what it was. Didn't he have first yeah, seat on the Quad City Symphony at one time? I think he did. He was always first chair. Well, uh, I was an orchestra with him. Our first chair. Yeah, that guy, was. he's a great guy. Man, you know, and, and, you know, we talk about how great players we all are and great musicians and up but man great person is that that's you know that means more to me than any of that other stuff man he was just a good right. old he was just a good old boy man just like you brother yeah he wasn't until he knocked me off for skipping school one day i remember he got mad about <laughs> something with guitar he was walking on the door he goes yeah tony skipped school the day but my mom was pissed i got trouble I'm like you motherfucker <laughs> he was just pissed because he wasn't with you Oh, this was way back in the day. Like, uh, he let me borrow it. Like, I didn't have a guitar. Like, I saw that Welcome to the Jungle video. I'm like, Mom, I want a guitar. You know, I want a guitar. <laughs> and uh, Nate would let me borrow his, you know. He showed me what tablature was in that. And that's like, you know, I mean, he kind of hooked me up with that. And once I got, my mom got me a guitar for my birthday, you know. Um, and we didn't have shit. Like, we were poor as fuck. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so she she got it. And, um, yeah, I just I played it every day since, like. 30-something years now. God damn. Well, Jesus Christ, man. Well, I appreciate having you, man. I, I'm glad that, yeah, that I got to talk to you today, brother. Man, I'm finally glad we got yeah, to, ma- got to, to make this happen. And uh, I'll stay in touch, and you do the same, man. And uh, we'll try to get you down here to do a show, man. All right, cool. All right, brother. Sounds good, man. All right. All right, you take care of yourself, Tony. Appreciate you, brother. All right, buddy. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That concludes today's episode of the Metal Bob Live podcast. Please go to our website to check out our sponsor links. And thank you for listening. Metal Bob out.